YouTube, it's your boy King Braze, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I have the most slept on car in the Dodge community. Top five slept on cars in the Dodge community. I'm talking about the Dodge Wrangle Hemi RT, and this is a 2023 black top edition. So let's go, let's go wait. Off the rip, I'm going straight into the, um, the brake caliber, bro. These are six piston Brembo brakes, and they're the SRT brakes. You don't get that shit confused or twisted. We got 295s in the front, 295 in the back. Bro, that's not enough to grip this. Like, that's not enough for, like, you know, to get this foot action traction, baby. So, yeah, the Brembos, we all know Dodge is coming out with the last call edition. So, with this right here, even with the Brembos itself, the RTs come with it, the all new scat pads come with it. It comes with six crystal, six piston Brembos or better on a newer version. This is like probably the best affordable SUV, bro, in Dodge. I'm not gonna lie. I think when the track all is all good and all, but that's a Jeep. And also, don't get me wrong. What other SUV that you can fit your whole family in that's affordable like this right here? And plus you get so much bang for the buck. We always say scat pads get a bang for the buck, but this right here is really the bang for a buck for an SUV. We yeah, remember SUVs are, are always gonna be high. They always been high. You ever seen a Tahoe cost 60, 50 plus thousand dollars? This is the Durango, bro. And I ain't gonna lie. I would take this Durango over anything. Don't get it screwed, don't get it twisted up. Like I said, I take the Durango over any SUV in this category. It's top notch, almost all of them. So don't give me a thought on the Hellcat Durango either. So that's definitely top big dog. But I'm taking this because I have 365 horsepower. I have 390 pound feet of torque. That's a lot of torque and a lot of horsepower for a family vehicle that's going up and down the road. You think that's not a lot? You think, but bro, get in the car and drive it. That all wheel drive is going to take you so much crazy as you don't you know. But get into it though, we already know, coming to him, it's a 5.7 liter uh, engine. The engines are, <laughs> not gonna lie, we all know the 5.7 could do a lot, and there's a lot of potential. That, that's what I'm saying, like, even with this car itself, there's so much potential with this car. If you want to, if you want it to do aftermarket things, or even going to that, that, you know, that, that range, you have the motor for it, you have the engine for it, you have the space for it, you have everything for it. Cause we all know the 5.7 can take all the boosts, take all the mods, take all that good stuff. But the first come off in, I'm coming to a massive grill and a freaking hood scoop. This has got to be the Hellcat hood. I come with the freaking massive hood, the hood scoops, and all my hood scoops are functional. Every hood scoop you see is functional. Even the intake manifold right there is functional. All that stuff is functional, bro. I come with the most aggressive look. My aggressive, uh, bro, what was that, rain guards? Do I even have rain guards in this car right here? I even have, let me see, check the back right quick. I have nothing in the back, but I have some in the front. The slim body look of this whole car. Everything I'm about in this car screams aggressive. The hood, the grill, the tire, the, the rail guards, everything, the, the, everything, the side mirrors, the flares right here on the side of this car. Everything on this car screams aggressive, fast, and of, of, obtainable, bro. I think the newer RTs sound way better than the old RTs. Out of this range, way better, bro. The exhaust in this car sounds freaking so good. I ain't not even this this car, even the Chargers and the Challenger RTs, it sound amazing. They're the most stuck on RTs. Like, bro, y'all want to skip to Hellcat to the scan? What about the RTs? You're missing so much in the RTs. You get so much money for bang for the buck, you hop in the car, boom. First of all, first of all, boom. I get in the car, open the door, I get in the car, I look at the panel. We all know it's got the satin panel right here. We got this leather right here with this red stitching, bro. Look at that red stitching in there. We have the steering wheel. We also have some more pen right here and leather with red stitching. You can't forget the red stitching. The red stitching is such a mwah, asset. <laughs> no kids and no cap. I'm coming in. I'm getting my big TV screen. I have a wireless, bro, you have a wireless charging port right here. A wireless charging port right here. C charger and USB chargers and an aux. That's crazy. This is freak that. We're not just gonna give you C charger and USB. They give you an aux as well. They don't use aux, but they give you the option for it. Like, that's cool. For real. <laughs> I got pat, I got more patent right here. I got leather right here. Oh, that's carbon fiber? <sighs> Bro, they give you a little bit of carbon fiber. It's not a lot of carbon fiber. It is a little bit of carbon fiber, though. We also got the steering wheel. It's leather heated and ventilated with cold. You already know. Seats as well. Heated and ventilated. You got the nice leather seats. A little pattern right there. But also the red stitching. The red stitching, guys. The red stitching is a must and it's a love. Pattern on the other door as well. Red stitching on there. Leather. You got space console right here. Boom. And boom. Whoa, is that a battery charger right there, bro? What is going on here? That's crazy. I don't know what that is, but I think that's a charger with a battery. I don't know what it is. Sport mode, tow mode, snow mode, track mode. And this right here is the black type of addition, guys, like I say. So we got track, sport, and tow, and snow. So it's like the track car, really. But 
they give me all the options out the gate. We got some, we even got some roof right here. We got a sun roof. We hop in the back, and I keep it in mind, guys, I'm 6'2. So this this is pretty spacious back here, bro. We have a lot of space back here. Um we have more pattern right here, carbon fiber right here, leather right here, we're breast breast stitching right there, and we have the space right here. Uh uh, it was it was a plug charger as well. A plug charger, USB, and I think heated seats. Not ventilated up heated seats. Oh, you know, up top we got the um, air control. Cut the air on, cause bro, it is hot still in South Carolina. It's crazy, bro. The weather is like really back and forth. Vents right here, vents right here. Let's take it all back and rerun again, so I can show you guys what the really true value of this Durango is. Three hundred six horsepower, three hundred ninety four or pound feet of torque, six, six piston Brembo's, SRT Brembo's as well. Two ninety five front and back hood scoops. Functional hood scoops like that. Aggressive grip, aggressive back. Sounds mean. Even with stock exhaust, not even cutting the cats, stock exhaust. I have patent leather seats with red stitching as well. I have wireless charger for it. I have a big screen TV. I have a console. The middle console of, of this car is freaking amazing. A leather steering wheel. This Durango is amazing. Like, this, this Durango is hard. I even have a sunroof. You can see me, I have a sunroof on this Durango. Bro, come on. I have a sunroof. I'm not here to save you the car. I'm not, I, not, not at all. I'm not trying to give you guys a review of the car, how the car and the assets of the car. I'm not here to save you the car. I'm just telling you how great this car really is. And this is my true opinion. Right now, I'm in the back seat and I'm 6'2", guys. Look at this space. Look at this. It's so much space back here. It's pretty, it's not crazy spacious, but it's spacious, bro. I'm loving this. I want Durango. Say this is my first review of a Durango. Oh, uh, yeah, this is my first review on, on a Durango. It's not even a Hellcat Durango or a Scat Pack Durango. It's a Hemi Durango. And I'm glad I started with the Hemi so I can go up above and see the Scat Pack and the Hellcat version. But in my opinion, I think I've seen enough. Because this right here is enough. I ain't want to talk too fast, but I'm excited. Because you can kind of tell him a voice that this car has me excited. Well, so let me slow it down and go back in the road for you guys. So, you guys know it's a new amount of charges, right? They didn't have the running daylights. Well, we had the same LED lights in the car as well. LED lights, no fog lights, but that's okay though. It's optional with this car. You can get fog lights or no fog lights. But we have running day headlights, uh, LED as well, but I didn't say that, but side mirrors. They're blacked out. That's cool. Oh, I, I'm sorry. You must have heard how it sounds. So let me show you here. Let me let you see how it sounds. So much about it. How much does it really cost? How much am I really gonna spend on the SUV for my family that drive around fast and cool? I'm gonna tell you how much the car costs. Remember now, this car has 20 inch rim, all the rims too at that. Six bits of rims, at the tow and go package, and also the black top package. I mean, it's fully loaded. Like I said, track and sport mode with all of that, it's fully loaded Durango, the Hemi version. So with this right here, it's a 2023 as well. How many miles? This is the brand new Durango with 14 miles. 14 miles on this car. And with 14 miles on a 2020 Durango, it's gonna cost you about 67,000. No! Oh, 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 oh. Base price of this car is 55000 Dealership price is 67000 That's about what? $12,000 markup? I mean, pretty steep, but you come in here and work your little magazine, talk a little, you know, I want this car really bad. Just talk a little. Just, all you gotta do is talk a little bit, and I promise you, you can get this car for 65000 I promise you. You can probably get this Durango for 65000 66000 it's a brand new Durango with 14 miles. I did not say that 14 miles. Don't forget that. Now for my rating on this car. I get this car a good 9.5 out of 10. And that's a high rating for a car. I know, I know. And you might say, it's not, it's not even a scat. It's not even a freaking Hellcat. So why are you rating it so high? It's so high because I, I look at this market. I look at the value of the car. I look at what's everything around the car. Like, I, didn't, I just didn't look at the car and say, oh, it's just an RT, I don't care. No, I evaluate and look around what's a, like, around the car. The aspects in the, well, I'm broke damn mirror. Like everything around the car. So given that everything I look, I look at all around the car, competition, the, the luxury of the car, what comes with it, all that stuff, I compare all that, I guess it's 9.5. If not, I give it a nine. I give it a nine. I give it a nine. My true question is, would you guys buy this Durango? Comment below, let me know, would you guys really buy this Durango? In my opinion, you're not losing out, bro. This is a really nice Durango. It's a, it's a SUV. Get that guy, it's an SUV. This is a big car. It's kind of like 5,000, 6,000 pounds. It's not gonna be cheap, but it's brand new. Hey guys, it's about Kim Brace now. And this is, this is crazy. If you like the shirt, DM me, Instagram, everything in the description below, Dodge Durango. I'm taking the Durango.